I served in the United States Marine Corps. I went to Iraq for this country, and my running mate took a bullet for this country. So my question to Kamala Harris is, what the hell have you done to question our loyalty to the United States of America? J.D. Vance exposes Kamala Harris and how she's portrayed the American people. So in this video, we're gonna break it all down. Welcome back to the Devore Darkens show. I am Devore Darkens. You guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can get this video out to more people just like you and me. J.D. Vance, the running mate for President Trump, make America great again. I mean, this guy is going scorched earth all over Kamala Harris and is just getting, he, I think he's just getting better each day, right? As time goes on, he's understanding how to communicate points. I mean, he's carrying himself very well. He's handling tough questions when they are asked of him, and he's just showing up. And I believe if Kamala Harris was doing the same thing on her side, yeah, she'd probably have a great chance of winning. But there's she, we can't find her anywhere, right? She's not holding any interviews. She's not taking any tough questions. But J.D. Vance is. And so what I want to do in this video is show you what he's been up to over the last few days. And so without further ado, let's play that first video. I want to talk about Paul Perez, who is at the front line of pushing back against this crazy border policy. If you think about it, have we ever had an American border policy that is so at odds with the people who are actually doing it? You talk to these border patrol agents and they are enraged that the Harris administration won't let them do their job. They just wanna keep people safe. They need a president who lets them do that. So Paul, if you wanna say a few words, I, I think the media would love to hear from you. So under President Trump, we had a secure border. We have the ability, the knowledge, and the will to secure this border. All we need is somebody like President Trump and Senator Vance to come in to, and let us do our job. We can secure this border. President Trump showed the American people that he can secure the border. All Borders R. Harris has shown is that they can create chaos on this border. Our communities are suffering. People are overdosing from fentanyl. This can be stopped. There is a playbook. President Trump had it, and he still has it. They can make it happen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you guys some of the receipts because I want to make sure that you guys see this for yourself. You're not just taking my word for it. You're not just taking President Trump's word for it. You're not just taking J.D. Vance's word for it. And the media is going to tell you the opposite, so you might as well see it for yourself, right? Now, this is on PewResearch.org. I can link it in the description of this video for you to go look at as well. Um, because one of the issues that I've realized is if you go on to actual Border Patrol website, they do not offer these numbers digitally dating back to the year 2000. So they only have like recent numbers dating back to 2018. Um, so I want to be able to show you guys the full picture of like the last 24 years. Okay, and then as you guys can see in May 2019, there's 132,000. This is when it peaked, and that's when um, President Trump really got aggressive with, with the border and then did a couple of executive orders, and then it dropped all the way down to 16,182. Now, when President Biden came in the office, which is 2021, you see it rise to a record level, right? And then it kind of dips, and then it rises again to another record le level, and then in 2023, this is December of 2023. This just happened like seven months ago, right? 249,000 people crossed the border that they could count, by the way. And the bottom line is, why does illegal immigrants who are migrating in mass numbers affect regular American citizens? Because our system, our economy, our budget, our health care, our security, our neighborhoods are not prepared to just receive almost 20 million more people. It just is not so, okay? So no matter how many times the Biden administration continues to gaslight the American people, you just saw what the numbers are. Save it on your phone. Share it with your friends. Post it on social media. Let people see what the receipts really are. Now, let's continue. The former president's comments yesterday to the National Association of Black Journalists where he said that Vice President Harris is, quote, all of a sudden black. As a father of three biracial children, 
Did those comments give you pause at all? They don't give me pause at all. Look, all he said that is that Kamala Harris is a chameleon. She goes to Georgia two days ago. She was raised in Canada. She puts on a fake Southern accent. She is everything to everybody, and she pretends to be somebody different depending on which audience she's in front of. I think it's totally reasonable for the president to call that out, and that's all he did. I mean, look, she's running as a tough-on-crime prosecutor, even though she implemented open border policies. She's saying that she wants to support the police, yet she wanted to defund the police just three years ago. It's totally reasonable to call out the fact that she pretends to be somebody different depending on the audience she's talking to. Now, wow, right? He's spot on. And if every other Republican could just repeat exactly what he said, they would pretty much be good to go. It doesn't matter what Trump does. And I was just thinking about this earlier today. I think the Republicans need to start doing more interviews on the news. They need to start speaking publicly more. They need to ramp up their machine, right? I mean, the Democrats are literally a walking propaganda organization. There's no question about it. Now, the, the Republicans can either play that game or not. And if they don't, we will lose. So what they need to do is take the same concept of what the Democrats are doing and just use facts, use the policies, attack her history, right? But ramp it up. So I think he's spot on about what he is saying. We need to hear more like this. He's just spot on about her flip-flopping. Um, he's spot on that she has killed the border. Uh, and she's spot on that she really does not care about the American people like that. She cares about money and power, and that's who she's always been. And that's what it is. Do you have a reaction to the news that just came out about the prisoner swap that will bring two Americans back home potentially? Look, I think it's great news, at least what little we know. We certainly want these Americans to come back home. It was ridiculous that they were in prison to begin with. But we have to ask ourselves, why are they coming home? And I think it's because bad guys all over the world recognize Donald Trump's about to be back in office, so they're cleaning house. That's a good thing, and I think it's a testament to Donald Trump's strength. You've, you've explained at length your, your past criticism of the former president. Uh, I'm just curious, though, is there still an issue where you feel like you are on a different level than him, that you feel like you are hoping to sway him on uh, if you were to become his vice president? Look, my job as vice president will be to help implement the governing agenda, and if, God forbid, something happens, to step into the gap. Uh, but Donald Trump's very healthy. I think he's going to be a great president. He's going to be a great president for four years. But my job here is to help prosecute the case, let the American people know what Kamala Harris actually is, what she's actually done, and then when we get in the White House to actually help govern, that's what I'm going to focus so on doing. So it's not an issue where you two differ at all? Look, certainly we're going to differ on issues from time to time, like but, my, but my job is to provide counsel to the president in private and then try to help him govern and do everything we can to help him do that. Okay, yeah. So you see, they always try to do the gotcha moments, right? And and that's what's wrong with the media is they're always looking for that sound clip, that sound bite. They want someone to go off rails, and that's why they love Trump, right? Uh, people hate Trump, but without Trump, what else would there be to really talk about? Because they're not talking about Kamala Harris, right? They're not, not like they do Trump. I mean, he owns media right now, right? In fact, he has his own social media company. So, you know, at the end of the day, everybody's benefiting off of Trump. Let's call it what it is. I create these videos where I'm talking about him. There are so many people like me talking about him. There are so many people that sell merch with his face on it, right? Every single news channel is getting views and clicks by criticizing him. Okay, so, I mean, you guys get what I'm saying, right? And uh, so the, these news puppets are, they're just going to continue to try to get some type of soundbite out of J.D. Vance, and they're just not going to be able to do it. He's he's buttoned up, he's tight, he's ready to go, he's better than he's ever been, and I'm really happy that he is the vice president. And I'll be honest, he grew on me, right? Because in the beginning, I was kind of like, oh man, oh, why don't you choose this guy, or this guy, or this guy? But he's really been doing what he's supposed to be doing, and if every other Republican could just sound like him, we would be good to go. As I wrap up this video, I want to say this to you guys. Number one, Kamala Harris on the border, fail. Number two, Kamala Harris as a prosecutor, fail. Number three, Kamala Harris when it comes to her identity, fail. Number four, Kamala Harris as a vice president, fail. So why would people actually vote for her? I have no idea, cannot make sense of it, but I do know what will happen. There will be people who are more emotionally triggered, right? They hate Donald Trump's guts, that's that's one or two, and, and, and they have been programmed by the propaganda puppets also known as the fake news media and the White House to vote for her. That's the only reason why it's going to happen. And that's my mindset. What is yours? What do you guys think about J.D. Vance and how he's been doing and how he's been performing and calling her out and sticking to what the bottom line is when it comes to her record? And what do you think how silent that she's been about 
Trump and his policies and how they continue to gaslight the American people. I want to hear from you and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace.